Hi, my little hearts. Welcome back again. This will be the video for the third standard. That is first video for the third standard. We are going to start a new lesson that is animals and plants. In this lesson, purely we will know about the animals and the plants. Already we know that what are the plants and what are the animals. And some of the characteristics we are going to learn in this video or in this lesson. For example, um, about the plants and animals, first of all we will learn about the movement. That is, how does the movement of a uh, body of an animal and a plant body takes place. See children, we all know that even we a human being will come in the animals category. We have legs, even other animals also have the legs and some animals does not have legs but then also they will move from one place to another place by jumping, by crawling, so like this or by flying. Animals are like uh, which have the four legs, they of course if there are legs they will move from one place to another place. Animal like a frog and uh, yeah some other type of animals they will jump from one place to another place even the monkeys also and even uh, animals like a snake they will crawl animals like a frog and a monkey they will jump from one place to an, uh, another place and the insects like a housefly mosquito cockroach and other big birds they have they can fly from one place to another place because they have the wings so like this the animals uh, the small or big or a human being or an insect or a bacteria every one of those living animals category they will move from one place to another place it means what there is a movement um, for the animals from one place to another place but when we see about uh, regarding plants or in the plants plants cannot move from one place to another place so they can show the movement of their body parts but they cannot move from one place to another place see if one a rose plant is there uh, in front of my home today and tomorrow it will go and <laughs> stand in front of some other's house or in uh, the some other's compound it's not possible because plants they cannot move from one place to another place but they can show some movements of their par body parts that may be the flower that may be fruit that may be leaf that may be the stem so like this it can show some body movements of their parts so now we got clearly about the movement in the animals there will be the movement um, but in the um, plants there will not be movement of a whole body but some parts can move from uh, like one place to another place there only tilting or like bending flexible uh, showing flexibility like this and then next we have um, after movement we have next breathing about breathing of course animals breathe including a human being all animals will breathe that may be big animal that may be small animal all the animals will breathe so for example human being dog cat horse buffalo ox and uh, some other animals we all have the nose and the nostrils there will be small holes here even for some other animals also there will be small holes here and we have the lungs we have the lungs here so some animals have the nostril or the nose and lungs to breathe and some animals like a fish and some other animals which live under the water they have the gills or through the skin they will breathe they will take uh, uh, oxygen inside and carbon live out the carbon dioxide whereas even in the plants also the breathing takes place we all know that plants exchange the gases then how do the plants ex exchange do the plants have the nose do the plants have the lungs no they do not have the lungs or nose but they have the small openings in their leaf part those are called as the stomata and through those small openings they will exchange the air exchanging the air means what they will take the carbon dioxide from the uh, uh, surrounding and it, they will leave out the oxygen and we human being we will take oxygen inside and we will leave out the carbon dioxide this is how the breathing in the uh, 
plants and animals takes place uh, children about animals and plants or plants and animals we have learned two things in this video one first one is movement of plants also and animals also and breathing in the plants also and animals also so next part we will discuss in the next video uh, before ending this you can write answer for some questions like uh, how do the breathing takes place in the animals uh, or and in the plants both you can write and then how do the movement takes place uh, in the animals and even in the plants you can write answer for this too hope you will do uh, this homework and uh, let us meet in the next video um bye bye